So, we have the Common Vulnerability Scoring System. It's an open framework for communicating the characteristics and severity of software vulnerabilities. CVSS specifications are owned and managed by First.org, which is a US-based non-profit organization, and the mission is really to help security incident response teams. Vulnerabilities are scored using this system, which includes metrics to derive a value of between 1 and 10. So unlike an athletics competition, for example, where a 10 is top marks, 10 is really considered the most critical and therefore the worst type of vulnerabilities. Conversely, a score of one would be the least critical. A common example of a 10 might be a remote code vulnerability that could be used to compromise some software over the internet. Also, obsolete software detected will often be classified as a 10 because the software producer no longer updates and fixes any security holes. An example of a 1 may be some sensitive information disclosure, such as an internal IP address. This screen shows a number of metrics, and I'm not going to explain them all, but I just want to point out a couple so that you get the idea. There's a few different versions of CVSS, which have evolved over time. We're currently on CVSS version 4, however, version 3 shown here is still the most widely adopted at this time, so this will be our focus for now. The overall base score is derived from various metrics, such as attack vector. The attack vector metric reflects the context by which vulnerability exploitation is possible. In this case, the N stands for network. Such a vulnerability is often termed as remotely exploitable, and it can be thought of as an attack being exploited over the network. Another value could be L. This means local, so an attacker must interact locally directly with a machine to exploit it. Attack complexities is a metric which can either be low or high. High meaning that successful attack depends on certain conditions that may be beyond an attacker's control. Low is relatively straightforward for an attacker to exploit a vulnerability. For standards such as PCI and Cyber Essentials, CVSS version 3 is key to determining compliance. Cyber Essentials, for example, requires any vulnerabilities with the CVSS version 3 base score of 7 or above to be remediated within 14 days where a patch has been released by the vendor. So, that's a brief overview of CVSS, and I hope that's been useful. Thanks for listening.